This is the Power Platform Daily Brief from CRM Audio for Friday, April 12th, 2019. What you need to know about the Power Platform today in 10 minutes or less. I'm Brad Kuntz. Today, we'll interview Scott LaFonte for the Friday Power Conversation. We'll talk about word spaghetti, thoughts on augmented reality, and learn how he really feels about the Red Sox. But first, a few announcements. Today is the final day that UG Summit will be accepting session proposals, so if you have not already and you're planning on it, that's what you need to do today. There's a link in the show notes that we'll provide. Uh, It's na.usergroupsummit.com, and this, of course, is for the uh, Orlando event that is in October. So always look forward to this event. It's a great event to talk to customers and real users of the, the product that we spend so much time with on a day-to-day basis, and it's uh, fantastic to, uh, to see all those folks. So, Also, coming on Monday, Mary Jo Foley. If you're not familiar with her, she's a veteran Microsoft industry journalist. She's currently with ZDNet, among other things. Uh, she follows the Microsoft uh, industry uh, as an analyst and a journalist. She's fantastic. She will have a live interview on Monday that is just focused on the Power Platform. So ought to be some good insight there. Uh, Once again, I'll leave a link in the show notes. But that is Mary Jo Foley. If you follow her on Twitter, you can certainly get a link there. Because she does cover the entire Microsoft stack and the the industries that Microsoft focuses on, the fact that we're having a good, uh, solid focus just on the Power Platform and what that means to Microsoft in the industry, is bound to be interesting. So I'm looking forward to that and excited about it. So for today's Friday Power Conversation, we've got Scott LaFonte. Thanks for joining us today, Scott. Oh, my pleasure. So tell us a little bit about your podcast. I know that you have a podcast on the CRM Audio Network. So can you let our you, our listeners know about uh, about your podcast? Sure. So uh, our podcast or my podcast is uh, the at your at your service podcast on the uh, same lovely CRM audio network. And it's uh, with myself, uh, Sean Tabor, uh, Sarah Jelinek. And uh, what we uh, typically talk about uh, on a regular basis is is everything service. So customer service, uh, field service and uh, occasionally um, project service. Uh, So you know, we've uh, had some some really good topics, of course, because there's our the platform keeps evolving. So we're uh, it's it's a lot of fun. It's exciting, and we actually have another, I think, recording coming up uh, this coming week. Great, we'll look forward to that next week. So yeah. on to the nine questions. All right. Last last week's spring release announcements. What was your favorite? Oh man, there's there were some really good ones. I was on that call. I think my my favorite one, um, to be honest with you, is is really just the all the um, the insights. So now we have you know uh, sales insights and sales AI. We have uh, marketing insights AI, customer service. Uh, you know all of that artificial intelligence that's now coming in and what they're calling that that power of of three. You know, updating that power platform is just it's huge. Um, it was really hard because I'm going to throw in a, uh, another one, which which was the entire the mixed reality that is now coming out and is available, especially on the on the on the mobile side. If you're an Android user, I think that's that's really awesome, uh, and is really just going to open up things, especially to those that you know don't have a Hololens. Uh, readily available or a couple thousand dollars sitting in their in their bank account to go uh, purchase one of these yeah it really does kind of democratize the uh the experience of of remote assist and the possibilities there absolutely next question what's your favorite xrm toolbox tool oh i think my my favorite is is really become the um i, I really like the uh the erd creator I think that's because I get constantly asked to create a, a solution ERD, and before all of those, or before I even look to see if they were there, I would have to either pull out one that I've created and update it, 
or come up with a, a different one from scratch. But now this one gives me like a really good uh, baseline and it's, you know, I, and I know that it's, I'm not missing anything. So I think that's one of my, has become one of my favorites. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely one of my favorites as well. I know that if you don't have that tool and you're not able to create intelligent ERD documents, you end up with a big plate of meaningless word spaghetti <laughs> that, um, exactly. that doesn't really work well. So, yeah. If, but Next, it's, it, there's so many. I mean, the, that that whole XRM toolbox has just become a, a treasure trove of uh, like our best friends. Yep. Uh, next question, your favorite travel tech. Uh, my favorite travel tech has become my uh, Surface headphones. Yes, everyone heard me correctly. The Surface headphones. I used to have, I used to have the uh, AirPods. Loved them. They were great. But on long flights, they don't, you know, two hours maybe, and you have to recharge. Uh, my Surface headphones last for 15 hours, and they're noise canceling. It's lovely. Love them. They look great. I haven't tried them yet. That's great. Yeah. No, they're they're fantastic. I, I bring them with me every time I travel, put them on the plane, and I sleep like a baby. <laughs> That's great. What book are you reading now? Uh, let's see. What book am I reading now? Actually, I am reading a book that uh, Joel Lindstrom uh, bought me, which was called uh, Factfulness. It's actually a uh, it's actually paper, so it is a paperback book. Okay. I just I just started reading it because I literally just had to have kind of pulled my head out of the weeds. Uh, I'm only on the tenth page, but it uh, so far it's really good. It's about it, it's really just about yourself and and kind of like that mind, you know, being kind of mindfulness and and kind of like your self journey and making sure you're you know you're prioritizing things correctly and uh, not stressing yourself out. So it's it's really uh, interesting and insightful. Are you ready for a little buy and sell? I am ready for buy and sell. All right. Buy and sell. First question, thumb drives. Sell. I agree. I'm glad Microsoft made them safe for everybody, but, uh, but yeah, I'm a, a strong sell on that one. Yeah. I, I don't even, I don't even typically use them. I put everything in the cloud. It's just, for me, it's just easier than this way. I don't have to worry about losing anything. I don't have to worry about anything being, you know, someone taking it and putting some, some malware on it. I'm, I'm good. Right. Buy or sell Yankees in the world series in 2019. Oh God. Yeah. Well, they're off to a rough start this year. I, I'm going to say, you know, buy, I, I, and and that's being a a Yankees fan. You know, you have to be optimistic, and they have a lot of guys that are hurt right now, so they're they're kind of struggling. But if they can get healthy fast, uh, they're going to definitely be a, a team to beat. So I'm going to say buy. Okay, buy or sell Hololens too. Uh, if I could buy it, I would buy it. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I could justify it to my wife, I would buy it. Maybe. You know, it maybe a Christmas present. Okay. Okay. <laughs> maybe buy if possible. If not, buy a uh, Android-based tablet and use remote assist. Exactly. And, and hopefully at some point, you know, and I uh, hopefully at some point it'll come out for, for the iPhone. I'm sure it would be iPhone, the, the XR version. Um so hopefully, you know, put your put your bets on that as well. Uh, I I would imagine at some point it will. I, I know that they typically make it uh, available, you know, same technology available across all the platforms. It's just I know with Apple sometimes things take a little bit longer. Buy or sell Red Sox? Oh, sell them. They're garbage. <laughs> terrible. I uh, thought you might say that. <laughs> well, and I have to say that because of Sean Tabor and Avon Kirk. Absolutely. And, and uh, you know the two Avons, Avon Kirtiv and Avon Sano from from uh, Resco, you know they're all big Red Sox fans. And yes, you know, hey, they had a great year last year. Give them credit. I didn't think they would actually do it. Um, so hats off to them. But yeah, they're going down this year. Chris Sale's off to an 0 three start, and I'm loving every minute of it. I don't care if the Yankees aren't in first place right now. The fact that they're in the bottom, I'm happy. <laughs> Scott LaFonte, thank you so much for your time today. Great. Thank you, Brad. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. 
That's it for the Power Platform Daily Brief today. Power on. Power on.